A man says he is in extreme pain two months after being shot while he says he was defending his friend. We told you back in April about a fight outside the bar Fassler Hall in downtown Tulsa. And a Fox 23 exclusive, Fox 23's John Asibas joins us live after speaking with that victim. Yeah, Rick, he showed me his bullet holes today, and honestly, a lot of it was too graphic to put on air. He says for him right now, the pain is becoming unmanageable. This is video of what led up to a man being shot. You gonna pull out a gun? You gonna pull out a gun? Yeah. This dude just walks around everybody and just comes and just shoots a bullet into the ground. The man who was shot did not want his identity to be shown, but says he snuck around the man with the gun, and that's who he says shot him. So I just hit him. So when I hit him, he just dropped on the ground. I jumped on top of him to get the gun. He just got up and turned around and just started shooting into me. To me, I saved a lot of people down there because nobody comes into a crowd of people and shoots a bullet into the ground if he doesn't mean business. The man was not arrested that night. This video shows someone picking up a gun that was laying in the street. The gun is right there! Hey, 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 come on, come on, come on. Also, laying outside was the man I was speaking with. He went to the hospital and was treated, but he says the pain is only getting worse. It's been two months since I got shot. How is this already a hernia? How did it already come loose? Why is it coming loose? Why is my infection not going away? Why am I having infections every day? So something is wrong in there. The wounds on his stomach are still bleeding, and the bullet that narrowly missed his spine, he says is causing him to have extreme pain while walking. It's getting to the point to where nobody's realizing the pain that I'm in. Nobody's doing anything to help me. Nobody's stepping up. I've been to six different doctors as far as neurologists go, at pain management and nobody's willing to help me. Everybody keeps telling me, we cannot work on you. We need to go back to the original hospital. He says he went back, but once again was released without any relief. And my legs from here to here on both legs was completely numb. And the numbness just kept going, getting worse and worse to where it was just turned into like fire feeling whenever I would sleep, whenever I would stretch my leg out. Then the fire turned to pain. He says he just wants help. Yeah, am I lucky to be alive? That's the question. Because sometimes I'm just like, what's the point of it? And for the last couple of months, he's been healing. He has not been able to work. He says he's backed up on his rent, but most importantly, his medical costs. We have a GoFundMe posted on fox23news.com where he says you can help. And John, have police arrested any suspects so far? To my knowledge, no arrests have been made. Now, it was originally back in April, Tulsa police putting out feelers, basically asking the public for help trying to identify a suspect. But they've since told me today this is now a federal case, and they're awaiting an indictment. Covering news that matters, John Asibas, Fox 23 News.